next guest says summer travel will be hot in more ways than one. And welcome to the Daytime Buffalo Studio, Director of Communications for AAA, Elizabeth Carey. Oh, thanks so much for having me. We are so happy to have you come in. Uh, so we got to start with the question, why is summer travel so hot? Okay, so when you think about what happened a few years ago with the pandemic, travel came to a screeching halt. It was one of the industries that was hit the most. People couldn't go anywhere. Uh, there were so many limitations, and then people were fearful for their own health. Now uh, things have improved, and people are just saying, we want to go, we want to travel. We missed out on these opportunities, and they're prioritizing travel. There's just such a high demand right now. And the TSA is bracing for what could be a record number for summer travel, right? Yeah, they definitely think it's going to surpass pre-pandemic levels and possibly set a new record for summer travel. So it's really exciting. But that also means higher prices, limited inventory, and a lot more crowds at different places. Okay, so you have some tips for our viewers. The first one is timing arriving at the airport, right? Yeah, seriously. If you haven't booked a trip yet, book it now because there's going to be limited inventory. Getting to the trip, you want to get to the Buffalo Airport about two hours in advance. If you're returning from a big international airport, get there three hours in advance. That oh, sounds wow. crazy, but these lines are going to be long. Yes, and I'm, that's crazy for me to hear because I'm from New York City originally, so obviously getting to JFK or LaGuardia, you got to get there like the day before right <laughs> with those, those lines but even here in buffalo you know you have a pretty big airport but most of the time that i've flown out of here you know, during the fall and stuff, it wasn't too bad. But for summer, it's it's really going to be, you need to be there two hours before. Yeah, especially if you have an early morning flight. People might think, oh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. flight. No one takes those. That's the busiest time at the Buffalo Airport. Really? Yeah, so they'll see extremely long lines at 4 or 5 in the morning, and then things will taper off and slow down. So if you have a later flight, you might be able to have a little bit more time to play with. But early in the morning, you want to get there. Okay, so you already gave one tip, which is right now is the time to book the summer travel. Right, right because um, prices are up. Their airfare is up about 20 to 30 percent compared to last year. Uh, but you're going to get to a point where the prices are going to go up more or planes are going to be full. So you want to make sure that you get the flight that you want, especially if you want a nonstop. Now, what is the best time of day to book your flight? So there's different theories about this. Some say, you know, uh, book your flight on Tuesday or book it on Saturday because the airlines lower prices then. However, um, that is true with certain airlines like Southwest. They do tend to drop their prices on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but there's no guarantee of that. Mm, yeah. Okay, so you got to kind of keep an eye out at all times. If right. you see a good price, you got to snag it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And ex um, for the actual flight time, is there a preference that you guys uh, recommend people fly like early in the morning versus in the evening, afternoon? So early Early morning flights, like I said, is the busiest time at the airport. However, that's your best bet of not getting a disruption in your trip because you're the first flight out. As long as the flight crew and that plane is where it's supposed to be, less disruptions. Later in the day, if the weather hits a snag in Chicago, something happens in Baltimore, next thing you know, these flights are delayed getting to Buffalo and your flight's delayed and you could miss a connection. It could be a domino effect. And that's true because the Buffalo airport has a lot of connecting flights. Most of them aren't direct, right? Unfortunately, we were gaining more and more now non-stop flights before the pandemic, but they haven't resumed to the full level they were at before the pandemic. So for instance, Orlando, top destination, no matter what the season is from Buffalo. There's a lot of non-stop flights to Orlando, but not nearly as many as they used to be. So sometimes people like have to go through a different city on their way down. Now, any other tips that you have as far as like TSA pre-check? I have TSA pre-check and I absolutely love it. Is it, it is, worth it? It is worth it if you think about how much you travel. So if you're only going to take one trip over the next several years, it might not be worth it. But if you're going to travel regularly, this is going to last you several years and you'll be able to go through the shorter line. You won't have to take out your liquids or your electronics or take your shoes off because they've already vetted you through the process. I love that because I went to school in Miami, but I'm, you know, I'm from New York. My family's in North Carolina, so I flew a lot going home and even you know after college. Flying with TSA is a game changer to me. Because it's a VIP treatment. Right? <laughs> it truly is. I'm like, oh, you see that line? Okay, I'm just going to walk right past you. And what about clear? What's the difference between the two and which one do you recommend? Um, it, it really depends on how often you're traveling. If you go to like TSA's website, everything will be spelled out there for you. Uh, but for the average traveler who's, you know, taking some... Uh, family vacations, a few a year, uh, it would be TSA pre-check. And then the other one would be for if people are traveling even more often. And also, what about baggage? What do you 
recommend. Pack light. If you can pack light. Now we use packing cubes. Um, I should have brought Listen, one to give a Listen, that's really hard for me. I'm yeah. a notorious <laughs> overpacker. Right. <laughs> well, my friend Brian at AAA says he has to go to Overpackers Anonymous because he packs so much. <laughs> I'll meet you there, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they sell these packing cubes and you can roll up your clothes and fit them in these cubes and you can literally fit so much more into a carry-on bag. That way you don't have to check the bag. And then if you think about it, if your flight is disrupted, you have your luggage with you and your luggage won't get lost and you'll make sure you're, it's on the plane that you're on. Yes, and that is a big problem, wasn't it? Was it just Southwest, I think, last week that canceled all of their flights? Yeah, What yeah. are the rules with cancellation so our viewers can be protected? Okay, so if your flight is canceled, you're entitled to a refund, that's a federal rule. However, you might have to work on your behalf to make sure you get that refund from the airline. If uh, it's something that, uh, you know, the airline messed up or there was a technical issue, they should be paying oftentimes for a hotel or food and other things for you as well. Oh, wow. So you wanna make sure you check that out. But if it's considered weather or an act of God, well then you're kind of gonna have to rebook that flight on your own. Really, that is so horrible because we saw what happened in Miami just the other week with all of that flooding and so many people were affected. Right, they were. And some people, you know, were supposed to fly back on like say Wednesday, Thursday, they had to stay until Saturday. So, but sometimes storms like that just happen. So you wanna make sure if that situation um, that you have like flight insurance or travel insurance to make sure you're protecting your investment. All right, thank you so much for coming in. Those were some fabulous tips. If you would like more help from AAA, you can go to their website, AAA.com, or give them a call at 1-800-AAA-HELP. Thanks so much for coming in, Elizabeth. Oh, sure, anytime. <laughs>